Kritika, welcome back to my channel. I'm in Malaga in Spain right now and as you can see, I'm at the train station and today I'm heading from Malaga to Barcelona. So in the last video, you saw me explore the beautiful city of Malaga in the south of Spain. And today I'm taking a train to Barcelona and I got so many questions on Instagram asking me to explain how train journeys here work. So I thought I'd make a whole video about that. If we could run it, if we could run it back into your wonder, if we could run it back, if we could run Okay, so made it to the train station and it has actually been really smooth. So one thing to keep in mind when you're in Spain is that not a lot of people here speak English. So uh, you can sort of manage with Google Translate and some people do speak basic English. But anyway, I got myself uh, my reservation. So first I'm taking a train from Malaga to Madrid and then taking a train from Madrid to Barcelona. So my Eurail pass is actually a first class Eurail pass, but first class was fully booked on my first train from Malaga to Madrid. So got a second class reservation for that and in the next train I have a first class reservation. Also my train is starting to board so I'm gonna go stand in line. If we could run it back into your wonder. I'll be honest, I'm not very good with like navigating trains and metros and stuff but it's been so easy in Europe and everywhere there's like signs in English. I thought I'll struggle with the language but yeah, it's actually been really easy over here. So this year behind me is the train that I'm taking and I got myself a Eurail pass. So Eurail pass is something that you can buy online and what it does is that uh, depending on what pass you get, it gives you access to all train journeys around EU. So I got myself like a 10 days in 2 months pass which means that uh, on any 10 days within two months, I can take train journeys. So, so far I've only used up one travel day, which means uh, I have nine more days left. This is my second day, so I have eight more days after this. But anyway, this train is gonna start in the next three minutes, I think. So let me give you a tour of the train. This is my coach, that's my suitcase. And this is what it looks like. This is my seat, there's a lot of storage here. They've got storage here as well, but my suitcase is just too heavy, so I've dumped it there. So while I'm waiting here, I thought I'll explain to you how a Eurail pass works. So basically you can buy a pass online and I think it's valid for a year, so you can activate it at any point. So I got mine a couple of weeks before coming here and then I activated it while I was here. So basically there's an app where you can sort of just plan your trip. So for example, uh, if I go to my Eurail pass, so I've got a global pass for myself. I've still got like eight more days uh, of using this pass. So this gives me free train rides all over EU and all I need to do is figure out the reservation myself like I did today. So the good thing with this is that you can sort of keep booking and cancel stuff until the last minute so my plans have changed so much throughout this trip like I mentioned before Spain wasn't even a part of this trip so yeah it's as easy as searching for say after Barcelona I sort of want to go to Lyon and I can just choose the date I want to go the time and then it shows me all the trains available it also says seat reservations required for the ones that require a seat reservation and then all I have to do is sort of save this journey and then it gets added to my trip and then I can book a reservation online depending on the country like Spain you have to go and book it at the train station but in France you could do it online as well so yeah it's actually super super convenient to travel with the Eurail pass from which passengers may acquire snacks and drinks while seated. We would also like to inform you we have a cafeteria service available. So this train is like two and a half hours long and they've got free Wi-Fi on board so I think I'm gonna watch a movie. trip has actually been really unplanned. I'm heading to Barcelona right now but I don't even have like a hotel booked. So I'm just quickly booking a hotel for myself right now. So made it to Madrid. <laughs> You're in my video. Say hi. Hi. This is Zara. And yeah just trying to figure out where to catch my next train from. This is 
going from Madrid to Barcelona. It's again two and a half hours long and this time I got myself a first class ticket. So first class, I can't really figure out much of a difference. Second class is also really good but the seats are way more comfortable and overall it just looks nicer. But I was just checking, so without a U-Rail, if I wanted to uh, do this train journey, I think it would have been over 200 euros. So yeah, I think the whole U-Rail pass really is coming in handy. The U-Rail pass is also expensive but I think overall it works out to be way more affordable and a lot more convenient. to Barcelona and oh my god my room I just checked in and it is amazing let me give you a room tour before I mess this room up so we enter from here and this is what you see so this is the room pretty massive and this is the bathroom this is probably one of the nicest hotels I've stayed in on this trip uh, because everything I've just been booking very last minute. So yeah, super happy with the room. But the thing with solo travel is that, of course, in Europe, you can stay in hostels and find like budget accommodation. But because of COVID, I didn't really want to do that. So everything is turning out to be so expensive because this is obviously like a room for two. And if I was traveling with someone, I could have cut all my hotel costs in half. So that's kind of a bummer. But anyway, very excited about this room. This hotel is actually super fancy. It's right near the center. And apparently the Beatles have also stayed here and a lot of other cool people. I don't know how true that is. So yeah, kind of excited about this stay. I'm here for the next three nights. So made myself some coffee, just been chilling in the room. Uh, I'm gonna head outside in a bit. I'm actually meeting a friend of mine for dinner who I haven't met since we graduated in 2013. So thanks to Instagram, she saw that I'm in Spain and I didn't know she lived in Barcelona now. So it's kind of cool how we connected through Instagram. And yeah, we're meeting for dinner tonight. So that should be fun. Also, one thing that I'm kind of worried about is that I've heard there's lots of like pickpocketing and robbery and stuff that happens in Barcelona. I don't know how common it is, but uh, some of my friends have had bad experiences here so I'm a bit worried so I think when I'm walking outside I'm gonna have to be extra careful and hold on to my phone and my camera and stuff probably not even have them out uh, and just keep them in my bag but yeah heading out now let's see what Barcelona is like by night and I will get back to you on how safe or unsafe I felt walking outside <laughs> this really cute Italian restaurant called Margarita with my friend Sana. Hi! We're literally meeting after how long? <laughs> I think a decade. Yeah, like eight years. Eight years. Like we haven't met since college. So this is such a nice surprise uh, that Sana lives here. I didn't know that. And I've ordered myself some pasta, some wine. The food is looking really good. So yeah, we're having a great evening together. <laughs> Back in my room now and the dinner was amazing. It was so nice meeting Sana after so many years and uh, I think my hotel is in a really nice neighborhood because everything is just walkable from here so I really enjoyed like the walk to the restaurant and to be honest it didn't feel unsafe as such like it seemed pretty uh, alright but Sana was telling me that pickpocketing is very common here so I think while I'm in Barcelona I'm gonna have to be extra careful but I did feel really safe walking around so that's that. But I put up a story on Instagram about my train journey and I got a lot of questions about how much the Eurail pass is for and stuff. So uh, also people asking me how much I paid for my train tickets. So basically they have different options but I have 
the 10 days and 2 month plan and I have a first class pass which I can use to book both first and second class tickets so uh, I think my Eurail pass was for around 450 US dollars so you can do unlimited train journeys uh, on any 10 days so for example today if I wanted to do like 5 train rides in one day I could have done that at the same price but for some trains like the fast trains you need a reservation some of them are free uh, but yeah the reservation you have to pay for extra on top of uh, this 450 US dollars I'm not exactly sure I'll leave a link in the description uh, so you can check out the price and see if any of these plans make sense to you. But I think if you're planning to do places uh, which can be covered by a train, then trains are super, super convenient. You can just like go and get a reservation online or at the train station and literally plan stuff very last minute. That's what I've been doing because otherwise I think train tickets get very expensive. So this has turned out to be like very cost effective uh, because like I said, today's train journey itself, I think would have been like around 200 euros. So if you're doing like 10 uh, days of like traveling on trains, I think the Eurail pass turns out to be way more cost effective. But anyway, super, super excited about Barcelona. You're going to see more of that in the next vlog. So I'm going to end this video right now. I'm not really sure how long I'm in Barcelona. Definitely here for the next couple of days at least. But if I like it here, I may extend my stay. So we'll see what I end up doing. So that's all for this video. Tomorrow, we're going to be exploring Barcelona. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, press the bell button. And I'll see you guys next time in another video from Barcelona. Bye.